Welcome to another Windows 10 build video from the digitallifestyle.com. This is a look at the 20H1 build. This is 18850. Apologies for my voice. I'm uh, trying to come down with man flu, I think. But this is still an interesting build to look at because this is 20H1, which is going to be out next year in the first half of 2020. So even though we've not started testing 19H2, which is the second release this year, and we're still on 19H1 development, uh, we've got these 20H2 uh, H1 builds. The reason for that is some of the underlying code, the sort of core of Windows is being developed and they want to get a bit more time testing that. So that's why we're going to get these, these builds early. It means we're not going to get that many new interesting features yet. We may do later. In the build notes, Microsoft call out that uh, they've improved Snip and Sketch in this build. But Snip and Sketch isn't actually tied to the build. Um, but if you're on the skip ahead, you will get the new version of it. So here's the here's the tool. They fix things like blurry images after copying to a clipboard and um, auto copy, which the clipboard wasn't working, and default saving to do default documents. So you can get this new version of Snip and Sketch um, anyway. But uh, this is what they call out in the build, and I do use this, as you can see here. I use this build quite. I use this tool quite a lot. So the other changes in the build are actually all fairly minor um, and mirror some of the changes in the recent 19H1 build. Uh, they fixed narrator, um, where it didn't move the cursor correctly, and Windows Sandbox the setting, going into settings no longer crashes. Uh, so Windows Sandbox is this isolated environment of Windows 10. And you can find it from here, you could be on Windows 10 Pro to get it, but it's a virtual image that effectively that gets refreshed each time, but they fixed it if you go into settings. They fixed uh, some reliability to bring up the emoji key in keyboard, which is the Windows and the period key. As he says that, it doesn't bring it up. Okay, so there's still some issues with that. So um, Windows and the period key is supposed to bring it up, but it, you see it doesn't open on mine. They fixed some issues with the um, Word templates and Microsoft Edge crashing when editing or typing through PDFs and it's, they've fixed some issues high contrast mode. There are still some known issues with this as you expect in such an early build and many of them are common to 19H1. Uh, you'll get a green screen of death, certain games that use anti-cheat code. Um, been a bug for a while. Um, if you use a third party app to adjust the colour of the screen they've made a fix to address uh, that that was no longer working but they're still investigating it. You still have issues with real tech cards, creative fi uh, X5 cards, sound cards are not working, and there's an issue where um, VMware will not, you won't be able to update builds if you're using VMware. Um, you've got to use Hyper-V instead at the moment, and this is also common to 1981. So there's a few known issues with that. So that's it for the changes, really. Not a lot to show you, but like I said, I do like documenting these builds, and you can see more on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com. And I'm at ISDix on Twitter. If you've got any build questions, fire them over.